It's seven o'clock in the morning and we're getting ready to do a hundred mile ride from Titusville to Claremont in Florida. I'll give you updates to let you know how we're going, what's going on with my Walmart bike. And um, we'll take it from there. Yep. All right, as if we didn't make it hard enough trying to challenge ourselves to 100 miles, we're actually up on top of Max Brewer Bridge right now. So, yeah, just decided to make it a little bit harder than necessary. Okay, so it is exactly 9.30 in the morning. We've gone 49.3 kilometers, two hours and nine minutes. And we're at the Gobbler's Lodge trailhead right there. This is actually kind of a dead end, so we have to do a detour. As you can see back there, it's not finished. And here I am again in 2021. Last time I was here was 2019. If you look back on this video, I'll link somewhere up there. Uh, you can see I was at the same place uh, just almost two years ago, right? Yeah, it's a pretty cool little spot. I don't know what it's called though. Um, Green Spring something. All right, we have our first flat of the day. First flat. First flat. First and only, I hope. That's the goal. Yep. Which for me is a pretty good thing because I'm going to take a rest now. <laughs> Eat a banana or something. Oh my god, look at that. Three smushed up cinnamon buns, cinnamon rolls. They didn't hold up as well as I thought. And a banana. That's all I have now for food. We are 77.4 kilometers and it is 11.03 in the morning still. So we're actually making, I think, really good time. Three, three hours, 28 minutes of riding. So, doing good. All right, just a quick update. We are at Chick-fil-A doing a little pit stop, you know, getting, getting some chicken nuggets and got some Gatorade across the street. We're at, what'd you say, 53 miles? So almost about halfway done. It's about a hundred mile ride all in all. So everything's going good. Like I said, like we saw before, we had one flat, but always good. We're gonna get back on the road. We're in, you know, an urban kind of situation now. It's much slower going than it was before, but you know, that was expected. So always good. I think we're looking at what, Five o'clock, something like that, get in. So what, how far are we at this point? Uh, about 67 miles. 67 miles and we're trying to get a hundred, so. Yep. We're getting there, like what, 33 miles to go? Yep, I don't right. need to do with that as in kilometers. How you, how you feeling? I feel good, man. 100%? Yeah, right. I'm ready to do 120 today. <laughs> wow, okay, that's for tomorrow though. <laughs> and how's your bike doing? Pretty good, it needs, uh, needs a good wash, but. Uh, Dirty. You gonna put it in the hotel bath? <laughs> not tonight, not tonight, but uh, I did bring more oil so I can clean the chain and re-oil it. I actually haven't cleaned my chain since last time we rode, so <laughs> I actually saw this morning it had rust on it. Did you? Yeah. But otherwise the bike is holding up fine. It makes an antique with rust on it. Mm. I think we'll reach a hotel about five o'clock, realistically. It's two now, maybe maybe a little bit before. It really depends on the terrain, you know? You're going through the urban stuff. Guys, 
another update. It is 3.40 in the afternoon. We have traveled 136.9 kilometers. It's six hours and 37 minutes in total travel time. On a scale of like one to 10, how do you feel? I feel like a seven and a half. That's 10 being the best. Yeah, yeah. Seven and a half. I'd say I'm about five. Mm. Mainly uh, quite a bit of soreness in this leg here and the top and on both of them. Um, a little bit of ass pain, but <laughs> I don't know where we are, but this is probably the nicest part of Florida just back there. Like all kinds of nice parks and lakes and homes and nice people. It's the nice part. We went through some bad parts too. Not really terrible, but not so nice parts with not so nice things. But maybe a dead guy. Not sure. <laughs> Jeff said he thinks so. I don't know. That was not nice. Anyway, uh, we got maybe like 45 more minutes today and I think we'll be at our destination. Lots of people cycling here. <laughs> All right, guys, another quick update. We're just about like, I don't know, 15, 14 kilometers away from our hotel, from the Chipotle, from being done with this ride. I'm totally tired of it. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a beautiful area of Claremont. I have actually rode through here before, but I don't remember it being so nice and hilly. I mean, there are actually nice hills here. It looks like another part of the country or something. It's pretty awesome. So anyway, we're getting back on the road. We're probably gonna get there in about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, I don't know, something like that. And uh, thank God we'll be done. Okay, must be after like six o'clock now. We're finished with the ride. We actually just stopped at Chipotle. My wife is here, Jeff's family is here. So, uh, eating my meal here. Everything went really good, everything's fine. Uh, you know, it was a tough ride, but I'm glad we made it here. I'll, I'll explain a little bit more when I get back home or something, but uh, super happy to be done. Legs are killing me, but it's all good. See you guys. So my family's actually in the Hobby Lobby right now. I'm just waiting in the car for them. But the ride's over and I thought I would talk a little bit more about how it went and so forth. Um, that was 100 miles, 161 kilometers. And I've actually done this exact route before, what, two years ago? Uh, almost two years ago. And actually I think it was easier this time than it was uh, last time, mainly just because the temperature. Last time it was super hot. This time it was much cooler. Weather was good. We did get rained on a little bit once, but nothing major. Everything went really fine. I'm really impressed with my friend Jeff. He only started riding uh, in September last year, so what, four or five months, something like that. And he's already, this is the second time he's done a century. It's the second time he's done 100 miles. But this time was significantly harder for him because uh, the hills. We had some uh, up and down hills today. Anyway, as I was saying, this ride was a little bit harder for him because actually in Florida there are hills. Oddly enough, last time I didn't even notice the hills, but uh, this time I actually noticed them. Well, one difference is, is today I'm on my $98 Walmart single speed bike, whereas last time I was on my $99 multi-speed Walmart bike. So maybe having no gears this time really made it like harder on the hills and stuff. And that's maybe why I noticed them. Last time I don't really recall the hills too much, but anyway, um, the hills did make it a little bit harder having the single speed especially with this modified gear it has what 48 in the front and 18 in the back something like that I mean, it's a good gear. I like the gear, but uh, when it comes to steep hills I did have to struggle a little bit, but all overall it wasn't that hard of a ride for me I would say um, the Walmart bike held up perfectly fine. It's a heavy bike um, but You know just despite that it, it basically worked fine. I can't really say anything bad about it uh, one thing I did want to mention though about the bike a uh, 
couple people in the comments from my one of my uh, other videos, I think my last video, talking about converting it to uh, drop bar with uh, you know road levers, had mentioned that they won't work very well with V brakes. And I think normally that is correct. You normally V brakes won't have the same pull ratio or basically cable pull at the end of the day. The cable doesn't get pulled enough. So usually it won't work. However, on these levers, there's actually two settings. I'll, I'll put some video up right now. And depending on the two settings is like how far your actual hand lever will be sticking out. And you can set it to the stick out far mode and then you get exactly the right amount of pull to be just like the uh, flat bar lever. Does that make sense? Well, let me rephrase it. Basically, there's two settings on the drop bar levers. The one sticks the lever out further and that gives you the full amount of pull that you need on V-brakes. Anyway, I'm just so happy to be done with the ride. I'm tired of riding today. I, You know, that's it. But I will say one thing, Happy New Year, everybody. And I do have uh, one New Year goal, let's just call it. And that'll be that I ride or walk or upload some activity every single day to Strava. So if you want to follow me on Strava, I'll have a link to my Strava account below. And you should see every single day a post on Strava, whether it's just a little family walk or a bike ride or whatever. I want to do 365 days of activities, uh, no matter what. And I like to add pictures into my Strava upload, so you'll probably see some photos and stuff on most of those activities. I don't know what else to say. Um, anyway, thanks everybody again for watching. Have a great day. See you guys. Ciao.